Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Thanks for joining us for Sunday Afternoon Football. Today, back at Jiangwang Stadium. Collaborating with me in the commentary booth is Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. What a game we have here today, Hutto. It's been quite a build-up for this one. Today's match between the Saints and Port Adelaide. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. It's a big day for Port Adelaide forwards. If they can get on top of the, the Saints' defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating The captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Port Adelaide kicking to the right of screen. Coming into this. We're underway with the opening bounce. Thump clear. Rockcliffe comes away with the ball. Steele must have double vision. Slick with the hands. Wilkie just through. Rockcliffe puts it on the boot. Jones there to mop up. Slams it on the boot. Clurie doesn't make the tackle. Listen to the roar of the fans. They love that decision. Amon with a massive kick. Winning the ball in the air was Westhoff. Turned it over. Geary hacking it out of there. Hannabury sends it clear of the contest. The free kick going to King. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Should be relatively straightforward from here. Going for goal number one. Through for a minor score. Cleary deciding where to go with the kick in. Scoops it up. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Wines wants to take them on. Great mark in the pack. It's cut off by Howard. The ball goes over the boundary near the 50. The boundary umpire will toss it back in. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Webster has resources out wide. Howard plays it on. Gets a quick kick away. Does well to cut off the kick. Marshall moves it now. Wants to keep it moving. Found a way to keep it alive. The EB gets in the way. The kick towards goal. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Jones kicks hard along the boundary line. Licks with hands. Hurried kick. And the boundary line wins. Thrown in now. Tap down. Clark picks up the loose ball with quick hands. Poor handball. Causes a turnover. The ball mopped up. The ball spills in the tackle. Billings finds possession. Got boot to ball. Marshall marks in a bit of space. Does well to keep it in play. Picked up under pressure. Eventually the ball goes over the line. Ball back into play. Wins the ruck duel. Houston controls this one. Both sides are set up really well defensively early. He decides to go for home. Unable to put that one through. Burn Jones with the responsibility of kicking it in. Doesn't take the mark. Now we've got a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? 
I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Outstanding pressure. He's got the footy in his hands. Dixon links up with a chance to run. He's able to ride it home from a long way. Gets some reward for his efforts. The first goal going to Port Adelaide. Tap came from Membry. Uses the hands instead of the body and moves it by foot. Goes short by hand. Handball's under pressure. Has it now. Gresham going for number one. That kick is missed. Unsure of their next move. McKenzie with an easy mark. Gets it away. Hartler gets on the end of that handball. Gets it out in time. Long going for number one. Just hits the post and a minor score. Less than a... Burn Jones to kick it in. Marking in space was McKenzie. That's a massive kick. Takes it well. With a driving kick. A strong pack mark. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Westall can't afford to be missing chances like that. The march, considering the options on the kick in, Ryder decides to go to himself. Looks to move it by foot. Gets into a good position to take that. Kicks it out of the defensive 50. Dixon throws the ball away. Leave it on. Wilkie collects the kick. Savage takes it well. Dixon dug out the loose ball. Takes on the space. Going for goal number two. And it carries the line and through for a goal. He's enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide, but not. That's a really good team goal. Centre bounce. One down by Glycet. Power Pepper hacks it out of there. A big contested grab. Dishes it off. With the ball is Wilkie. Quickly onto the boot. Butler takes it strongly. Butler has resources out wide. Gresham takes it well. Decides to kick. Mops up the loose ball. Just gave it away. Power Pepper kicks out of the congestion. Ball gets cut off. Eber turns a free kick. Drives it inside 50. Can't take the mark. Savage pushes his opponent off with one hand. Goes by hand. Clark quickly onto the boot. Gets the loose ball. Intercepted. Dismisses the tackler. The siren sounds and that's the end of the opening term. The scores, Port Adelaide, 13 to St Kilda, 4. Port Adelaide, grew up and about early and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? St Kilda are playing a very controlling game. They're taking plenty of marks and did not. We're ready for second quarter action. Umpire ready to resume play. Ryder gets onto the ball. Hill brings it out of the pack. Strong mark in the contest. They can link up now. Ball collected, able to release the kick. Steel blinks for the teammate who can run. It's a behind. The Saints now only trail, deciding where to go with the kick in. A strong mark in the pack from Dixon. Handballs. Hill gathers it now. Wants to take them on. Uses it by foot. Marks all alone. Quick handball. He has the ball. Going for goal number one. Drop punt straight through the middle. Congratulated by his teammates. A great bit of play that Port Adelaide have turned. Back in the middle to resume play. 
right with a big fist on it. Gone! What a tapping the ball. Ebert drives the kick. Dug out the loose ball. Billings slick with the hands. Gresham has a teammate on the move. Motlock gives it to the player running past. Holding the ball. A full body tap. Clark pushes a low ball. Rosie scoops it up. Wasting a lot of effort there. Pushes through with power. Intercepts the ball well. Pal Pepper just streaming past and gets the footy. Scoops up the ball, picks it up. Jones, interesting handball, takes possession. He wins possession. Play on. Looks up with the kick. It was always pushing that post and put Burn Jones to bring it back into play. Houston gets in a good position. Goes by hand to Wines. Puts on the afterburners. Slips the handball to Bonner. Dixon on the ball. Trying to avoid everything out there. Lysette just threw it. Sinks the slipper into it. Thank you, Ivan. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Good mark and looks to send it back. The handball now from Burton. Slams it onto the boot. He takes the mark. Might be too far out to score. And on. Hanover goes for home. Never on target. And a behind. Inaccuracy. St. Burn Jones ready to bring it back into play. Takes an uncontested mark. Finds his man. Burgoyne needs to lift. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Sends it clear of the contest. The mark has been taken. Port Adelaide are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Goes for the goals. What a goal. Look at him. He really... We're back in motion. Thumps it clear. Rushes with the kick. Picked up by Lysette. Picks up the loose ball. Finds the loose ball. Winds. Bobs the handball. Going for goal number one. They are happy with that effort. Hine, I love kicking that one. St Kilda has dropped more than two goals behind. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Port Adelaide aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Finds a target. Releases by hand. Gets around the pressure. Just gets it onto the boot. Marshall couldn't snaffle it. Up for grabs for Ryder. Intercepted. Puts it on the boot. They chase after the loose ball. Giving it off with Billings. Membry is streaming past and gets the footy. Found space for an easy mark. He drives it towards goal. Just couldn't get it to curve enough. St Kilda close the gap to 11. Port Adelaide have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. The ball finds Houston. Works it from the back half. An easy grab for Burn Jones. Burn Jones sends one up towards the wing. A race for the loose ball. King gets a quick kick away. The loose ball picked up. My footy. And now we'll have a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Port Adelaide, ruck work needs to be a bit better. Too many of their hitouts are getting sharked by the opposition. Hanover goes with the kick. Good mark there. 40 metres out. Move it on. Loney thumps it towards goal. He delivers with a drop pass. That will settle the nerves. 
Gets his first on the board. Look at them celebrate that effort. That's two in a row for St Kilda. St Kilda reduced the margin. Lysette with the punch. Is in his possession. The ball spells to Webster. Hanbury controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Keeps the kick low. Finds himself in space and marks. Membry now. A chance to steal the lead right here. No luck for him now. And it's a behind. They are really struggling in front of goal. Looking to bring it back into play. But has found a way to mark that one. The umpire will ball it up. Punched away. A clean pickup. Picked off the deck. Cleary uses an intriguing first half as it stands. Port Adelaide, 25. Blake St Kilda, 21. A good first half. Anything to add, Gaz? Port Adelaide could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Thank you very much, Gaz. Both sides taking a much-needed rest at the long break. The second half just moments away. Players back on the field to begin the second half here. Back in the middle now. Swanson with the ball now. Ryder drives it out of the pack. Loney couldn't keep his hands on it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. He lays off the pass. Kicks hurriedly. Charges with intent. They can create from this. Jones receives the ball. Looks okay off the boot. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. St Kilda weighing up the options now. Hartland marks uncontested. He flicks it over. He gets his hands on the footy. Just put it on the boot. A low stabbing kick. Rockcliffe puts on a bump. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent. Handball's out in front. Might be a bit of an injury for Wilkie. That doesn't look good. I don't think he'll be coming back. Loney, right on the edge of his range. Move it on. Cleary used the body to take that mark. Punches the kick. Burton found some space and marked. Releases it under pressure. Goes by hand, under pressure, and keeps it alive. That one hits the woodwork. So players move as they look to provide an option. Bonner got hands to it, wins the race to the ball. Long applies a bump. He flicks it over. Butler gets the loose ball. It's going to be close. He acknowledges the crowd. St Kilda, Cav three in a row. St Kilda, back in front. Punches are clear. Gathered by Hyde. Oh, sweeping handball. Brown cans it into open space. A chance to put one through for his side. 50 metres out. Loney with a fairly straightforward shot for goal. Move it on. He takes aim. Lucky to even score with that shot. St Kilda. Burn Jones looking to bring it back into play. Open opportunity for Houston. Goes by foot. The mark is taken by Marshall. 
missed opportunity with the handball. Brown puts the handball out in front. Gets a handball away. The loose ball scooped up. He's got the football now. Even won himself a free. He drives it. Cleary takes the mark uncontested. He gains possession. Hacking it out of there. Got hands to it. Just manufactures what he could. The ball in the hands of Motlock. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. His teammates rush over. They've taken the lead. About to resume play. Lysette clears the contest. Is in his possession. Long takes the mark. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. Pretty happy with that one. The Saints steal back the lead. We're back in the middle now. Membry thrashes it. Rockcliffe was taken high in the tackle. Goes with the kick. And the umpire will ball it up. The players will be feeling it out there. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Looking to rebound with this kick. With quick hands. Savage collects the loose ball. Steele leaps over the top. Moves the ball by foot. Dixon over the top. He's in charge of the ranking points. He's on fire at the moment. A chance to gather the ball. Just got the hands in the back there. Webster pumps the ball long. Gets it away. Hands that ball to the opposition. This is Savage. Marshall releases the ball. Dixon goes for goal. It's offline. Port Adelaide reduced the margin. Howard looking for options now. Plays on. Uses it now. Takes that one strongly. Has it now. Linking by hand. Doing well to intercept that kick. Just sends it into space. Going for goal number one. Dixon Cadet lost us. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. There's nothing in this. Searching for a teammate. A mark by Webster. Great tackle. Rockcliffe plays the tackle. Great tackling there, Hutto. Going for goal number one. Wow! How good was that? He celebrates hard after that. Port Adelaide get on top again. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Missed the target. He has the ball. He wins possession. Opportunity for Motlop. It's a turnover. He's got the footy in his hands. Turns on the gas. Keeps it moving. With the ball now. Hine keeps coming. Gathers it now. He gives it a ride. A drop punt through the goals. Puts his second on the board. He's excited about that one. They're in the lead now. Back with another centre bounce. Lysette got a fist to it. Hill flicks it over. Membry gets on the end of that handball. Start of the kick wide, and it never came back. Once again, they can't convert it to the... St Kilt, ready to bring it back into play. Hartley marks it. Elects to kick. Clean from the half volley. Got the hands free. Gets it out of congestion. Rosie picks it up. Penetrating handball. He goes for broke. Unbelievable effort. And it ends with a goal. Rockcliffe with a second goal. Celebrating hard. We resume hostilities. Thrashes it. Membrick putting his skills on display. Gaz, what do you think about that? 
Port Adelaide will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Port Adelaide have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into score. One quarter of footy to go. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. The game is back underway. Big thump from Ryder. Quickly onto the boot. <coughs> Getting in the way was Butler. Marshall to get the free kick. Lining up for goal. Big kick required from this distance. Move it on. They could take the lead here. Hook the kick wide and a behind. The scoreboard isn't teammates break for him. An easy grab for Houston. Slick with the hands. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Clears the ball from the contest. Spills the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Loney wins the foot race. Bonner drops the mark. Turned it over. They'll snatch the lead if this goes through. Offline for a behind. And looking for options now. The ball ends up with Hartlett. He's kicked it out on the full. Wilkie coming off for a spell. Puts boot to ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, have he? Smiles all round. St Kilda lead by six. About to resume hostilities. Lysette hurls it away. Controlled well off the bounce. Great attack on the ball carrier. Dixon cuts it off. He can take off after that handball. Dunstan collects it. Lobs the handball. The handball hits the target. Motlop grabbed it clean. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. He just loved that one. The score's a left. He did really well there and... About to resume play. Clears the contest. He's got the football now. Motlop wins the marking contest. Fighting hard was Rosie. Always looked like a behind. Power searching for a teammate. Takes a strong mark. Chose to kick it. Burn Jones couldn't hang on to the ball. Butler takes the mark and contested. Butler. Hartlett, one out in the square. Can't take possession. Collects the loose ball. Got the hands free. Houston with the intercept. Brings it out of the pack. Long missed an opportunity to mark. Wins the race to the ball. Dunstan steals possession. Terrific mark there. They create the turnover. Releases the handball. Butters slams it onto the boot. Looks up with the kick. Marks now and can send it back. They can take the sting right out of the game here. Running hard to take that was Cleary. <coughs> he drives it. Drew uses the body well. Moves it on. West was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. A spearing kick. Good grab there from Wines. Moves the ball by foot. Out of bounds in the pocket. We'll get the ball tossed back into play. Oh, it's tense out there at the moment, Hutto. West off with the hit. What a brilliant tackle! Jones got him. Brilliant chase. Puts it on the boot. Hind grabs that one. Gets the handball away. Gresham has a great set of hands. Elects to kick. Burgoyne got under it. Goes by foot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Needs a bit of a rest. 
marked by King. This is a big kick in the context of this game. A kick to hit the front. They get around him after that effort. St Kilda goes back in front. Back in the middle now as the rucks go at it. West off Umpton clear. He looks like he needs a spell. Good body work to win the mark. Intervening brilliantly was Clark. Finds this one all by himself. Wants to play on. Uses it by foot. Got the hands free. Moved on by Gresham. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Looks to move it by foot. St Kilda can work the ball with this free kick. Butler uses it by foot. Free going the way of King. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. 50 metres from home. Okay. He likes his chances from here. A time to celebrate. Look at them celebrate that effort. The Saints with the edge right now over Port Adelaide. Centre bounce. West off thumps it forward. Practicing some fancy moves. Eber kicks in heavy traffic. Wines takes the pressure of the goal kick upon himself. A chance to reload the attack now. Geary kicks it. And the mark will be paid. Kick by Marshall. Marks in a bit of space. Uses it now. Finds a bit of room to mark. A chance to put one through here for the Saints. 30 metres from home. Moving on. Loney going for number two. Nails the goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. St Kilda have kicked the last three goals. The lead is now 17. What a game. What a comeback. It kept me biting my nails to the very last minute. Gary, what really stood out for you today? Both sides had their chances to stamp their authority on this one, but in the end, it was the finishing skills inside 50 that gave us the result. Thanks, Gary. And the final result is St Kilda 69 and Port Adelaide 52. On behalf of Gary Lyon, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Saints go by.